Well guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be tackling this exhaust. For those of you that are new to this channel, I have made a whole load of videos over the last few months on customising this Harley Sportster 48 to what you see here from stock. And today we're going to look at a bit of maintenance and that is on this exhaust. All the wrap has torn and gone very rusty. The end cap has just fallen off um, and it's way past its best. So we're going to take these off. We're going to sand back the heat shield and reattach the end cap, wrapping it and look, making it look good as new. So these are the tools that I've got for the job. I've got some sandpaper to get the surface prepped. I've gone with the VHT paints and uh, I've got a primer in there and a, a clear lacquer. I've got some new wrap. Um, we've then got some gaskets and some other sealants and the, the ties and a little bit of beer possibly to get us through the job if things get difficult. So hopefully it's gonna fire some of you up with bikes with some problems and things that could be done to really get cracking and improve things. So let's see how we go. Well, that's the exhaust off, and look what I found. Mountain bracket, two of the three bolts have actually come out, which is meaning, well, the bracket wasn't really working, to be honest, which probably was contributing to the rattling noise I was hearing as I was riding along. So again, always check your bolts, and always use some right lock where you can to keep them in. So next, I'm going to take the old wrap off of the old pipes, and then sand them back and prep them for painting. I have taken some of this wrap off before, this last piece here where it tore, and there's a lot of fiber that comes off of this. It's, uh, it's actually quite aggressive and it kind of, it's almost like asbestos, it tickles your skin and you certainly wouldn't want to breathe it in. It kind of comes out in plumes. So I'm gonna wear a respirator when I take these off and I'm gonna bag it up straight away. the game is to spray the primer on now in some nice thin layers and then I'll let it dry do the black paint in the same way and then the satin and we're good to put it all back together
okay heat shields done now we're moving on to the main pipes because I want these to although they're not really seen the tips are and I just want them to look uh, look good so pro tip a bit of cling film uh, a little bit of masking tape just to protect the chrome much quicker than uh, using paper I find so let's get these primed up so pleased with the finish of the paint on this it really does look as good as it did when it was new um, the finish is pretty flawless so hopefully this is going to be robust enough paint to stop any more corrosion and look good for a while so next i can put all this exhaust back together and then get it fitted back on the bike The pipes are now on, tightened up. Now to cure the paint fully, I need to run the bike for 10 minutes on idle, turn it off for 20 minutes, let it cool down, and then run it for another 20 minutes uh, just to get that paint and the varnish nice and, uh, and hard so that it's gonna stop all these little surface scratches and then the, the exhaust is good to go. So the bike has been run through, the exhaust is uh, cured now and that paint is nice and hard so it's not going to scratch. I hope you found this video useful, if you thought it was rubbish then please give me a thumbs down but if you found it useful or enjoyed it then hit that thumbs up and hit subscribe. In the next video I'm going to be taking these pipes back off, applying my design engineering titanium wrap and then fitting them back on for the final look.